All right, well, cyber war or cyber hype, former Pentagon official Michael Maloof is with me here to discuss. Sir, do these attacks genuinely present a, a real and imminent danger as uh, the media and government officials, frankly, portray? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, this is uh, uh, part of an a, an, a form of asymmetrical warfare. It, it, it precludes the use of uh, violence. It's a form of sixth generation type of uh, warfare that's uh, coming into uh, being right now in, in which you have a, you can do standoff type of uh, activities to disrupt uh, using the cyber uh, uh, approach. And it, in the case of the United States, it's, it's aimed at our uh, uh, grid system, our, uh, as the president pointed out, and and uh, and uh, at our critical infrastructure, which is very vulnerable already, and this has been known, uh, including our uh, uh, our, our uh, nuclear reactors. Uh, there have been recent tests on this, and uh, they they've been quite successful in uh, disrupting uh, the uh, the ability of these nuclear reactors to uh, to respond. So, the the threat of a cyber attack. Uh, from unknown uh, entities is uh, is, is uh, very very serious and uh, and I think that's why the Pentagon has responded so uh, uh, forcefully in uh, increasing its uh, capability to uh, counter such an, an activity and it's it, it, as I said earlier it's it's part of an asymmetrical approach that the Chinese themselves have uh, undertaken. Uh, and it's part of their uh, new doctrine, if you will, particularly since it's being orchestrated by the uh, People's Liberation Army. Uh, this is part of their strategy, and uh, it, it's not aimed just at, at us, but at almost at every other industrialized country that has uh, technology and information to share, so that it, it becomes a substitute, really, for uh, putting spies into locations, uh, which uh, is uh, lengthy and, uh, and costly and, uh, and, and has questionable results. But this allows them uh, access and uh, not only to not only to spy, but to uh, but to also uh, disrupt uh, uh, facilities as, uh, if if those facilities are vulnerable. There are fixes. What's the to motivation it. here? And, I mean, but, is this, are we talking about a, a political or or a commercial motivation, or is it a com some combination of both? What's behind this? It's it's all the above, uh, and it, it's political, economic, and it's uh, military. Uh, this is a means of, uh, of capturing technology on the one hand that they don't have to, that they, they may not uh, have access to. It's a, a means of listening or, or of, uh, obtaining information of, of competitors, of, of uh, high-tech companies, uh, unbeknownst to the, these companies. Uh, we've had other recent cases uh, and recent Senate uh, investigations and House intelligence investigations of how the Chinese have uh, used microchips uh, uh, installed in uh, telecommunications equipment to actually spy on uh, competitors and, um, and, and big, big major businesses who have a lot of technology that they want. As, as I say, this is a form of, of uh, economic uh, warfare. Uh, it's it also has military and uh, diplomatic implications, and clearly the Chinese uh, see this as a, a robust effort. If they have, you know, if they're devoting entire facilities to uh, do this kind of spying, they are also uh, devoting entire facilities, hiring 10 to 15,000 people to actually make uh, uh, fraudulent and counterfeit uh, microchips because they know that our um, that we're going to buy, be buying off-the-shelf type of, uh, of uh, uh, high technology, and uh, and they 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 actually have dedicated uh, thousands of uh, people just for that purpose, and they can be programmed. Uh -huh. These uh, microchips can be programmed. Well, certainly so, uh, a very is, real threat, a, but we do know that the American threat. officials have, in fact, yes. uh, also increased the number of employees working on cybersecurity issues fivefold, as we heard right. in the package there. So, uh, certainly escalating tensions on both sides. Thank you so much, former Pentagon official Michael Maloof. Thanks for that opinion.